Academy has a crisis team in place. If anything unpredictable or violent happens during the ceremony, just do what you did last year. Nothing. <laughs> Sit there and do absolutely nothing. Jimmy Kimmel brought some major zingers to the 2023 Oscars. The comedian hit the stage to deliver the opening monologue at the awards show, and he didn't hold back with his roasts. He took aim at last year's infamous moment when Will Smith slapped Chris Rock on stage. We uh, want you to have fun. We want you to feel safe. And most importantly, we want me to feel safe. So we have strict policies in place. If anyone in this theater commits an act of violence at any point during the show, you will be awarded the Oscar for Best Actor <laughs> and permitted to give a 19-minute long speech. In another unexpected moment, he joked about Rihanna's 10-month-old being backstage and having a dirty diaper. The singer, who is currently pregnant with baby number two, is taking the stage to perform Lift Me Up from Black Panther. During the joke, he also took aim at the infamous La La Land Moonlight mix-up. Rihanna has a nine-month-old backstage, and he's very cute. He pooped during rehearsal. Wait, you know the last person who pooped backstage at the Oscars was? That accountant who mixed up the envelopes. <laughs> Jimmy also had jokes about Brad Pitt's film Babylon, which got an interesting reaction from the audience. Business is booming. I know people like to debate now which is better, movies or TV. But here's the thing, no matter how good a show is, there are some things movies could do that TV just can't. For example, a TV show can't lose $100 million. <laughs> is the gang from Babylon here? They know. I was just asking if they were here. I was welcoming them. The late night host also had a hilarious bit about Nicole Kidman's AMC commercial. That I am happy to see that Nicole Kidman has finally been released from that abandoned AMC. <laughs> where she has been held captive for almost two full years now. It's good to have you back, Nicole.